ISO refers to how sensitive the sensor in your camera is. It's one of the three principal settings that controls how you expose your photograph. Basically, a few countries got together and set certain standards so everything would be the same no matter which country you went into. In photography, it refers to the international standard of the sensitivity for emulsion-based film. With 100 ISO being not so sensitive, and 1600 ISO being very sensitive to light. So the name has come from the era of film photography and has transferred across to digital photography. Nowadays, in digital cameras, they have a sensor instead of film. Now, when you change the ISO, you change the voltage that's running across the sensor. As the voltage increases, this increases the sensitivity of the sensor. The more sensitive the sensor, the less light the sensor needs to see to get the same exposure. However, there is a loss in detail and the image tends to get more noisy. Basically, all you need to know is when you change your ISO, you'll change your exposure. So if you set your other two settings and you have a good exposure at ISO 800, if you increase your ISO to 1600, you'll overexpose the image. If you set your ISO to 400 with these same settings, you'll underexpose your image. In photography, whenever you can, you should be shooting at 100 ISO. Once it gets too dark for that, and you've got your widest aperture and slowest shutter speed, then you'll need to raise your ISO to raise the sensitivity of the sensor. It means that you'll still be able to take a photograph in darker conditions. Certain cameras like the A7S II are really good at controlling this. Other cameras with really small sensors like the iPhone are not so good. At high ISOs, these cameras with smaller sensors don't cope so well. Another thing these days is there are some cameras that are ISO invariant. If you want to know what this is, click on the eye in the corner. If you want to see more videos, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll see you in the next one.